Hello and welcome to Ant RC. Terry here, and it's been a long time since we've done one of these videos on the channel. A talking video, that is. Um, and you may have noticed that a TRX4 tactical shell um, has appeared on the channel. Uh, just some teaser bits and pieces. It's still not done. Um, many weeks later. Uh, it's just because I'm waiting for some bits and pieces and general life gets in the way really. So I just wanted to give you a quick video to let you know where I am, what's happening and what's going to happen next and how long it will be before it's actually up on the channel. So I love my TRX4 but I wanted a different body shell. So rather than messing around with body posts and things like that and trying to get another shell to fit, I went for the tactical and we decided to go well Andrew came up with the idea of painting it black and I thought mm, not sure but I thought actually no it's a good idea so this is a project that I've done completely on my own the power wagon shell for the HPI Venture which has now been sold yes I don't have it anymore um, he helped me paint it but this has been completely on my own so um, let's have a quick look at the shell uh, it's got the 3D window guards in it and I actually painted it and left the windows clear because there is going to be an interior. Um, front fender flares are on and front wheel arches. The rears haven't gone on yet because I'm still um, playing around with the um, interior of the shell which I'll go on to in a moment. Uh, the bit I love most about this shell is I found some projector lights now they're two on the two sets of lights so I can have one on each side or both on each side and they look fantastic um, the screws are all stainless steel um, unfortunately the 3d printed um, window guards didn't come with any well they came with screws but no nut so I was a bit annoyed about that and I left some bad feedback um, nothing happened unfortunately so I decided to buy TRX4 stainless steel screw kit because the screws on the fender flares on the original shell rust they rust really badly um, so I thought you know having stainless steel all around would be pretty good. So I had to order those stainless steel bolts separate there. The ones on the window guards aren't part of that kit. So let's uh, move the shell out of the way. The wheels are, these actually came off of the, <clears throat> excuse me, XCX, SCX10 sh um, chassis that Andrew recently bought. And he kindly gave them to me, being a good friend that he is. And I thought they'd look really nice because they're nice and black and they'll fit in well with the shell. These are kind of IROX pattern copy tyres for, I think they were about £13 for the set of four. I'm not sure how good they're going to be. This shell, however, is not going to be hammered around and, you know, climbing big slopes and it's not going to be abused like my uh, red Land Rover shell is. So let's put the tires to one side and then talk about the interior. We have Batman. I didn't want to go to anything too serious and this is supposed to be like a specialist kind of 40s truck if you like. Um, I don't know if I'm going to put any stickers on it yet. We'll wait and see. But yes, so Batman. The shell interior has, has caused a few issues. Uh, it fits nicely. I've just, I just trimmed it down and I sprayed the whole thing um, matte black just to, you know, so it didn't shut because these seats are, I think they're like a beigey color. And this is the standard cheap rock crawler interior um, that you get on eBay that comes up most often. The thing that slowed it down is I want it to have some lights in here. Now, these lights that I put here and here are red LEDs, but when I switched them on, there was hardly any glow inside the shell at all, because the shell, obviously, in here is so dark um, and non-reflective. 
so it didn't work. So what I'm going to do, well, what I have done, is I'm all, I've ordered some really cool kind of tube lights, blue tube lights that are really bright that are going to go off on the roof. So you'll have this nice blue glow coming down on Batman. Um, I thought that'd be kind of atmospheric and look pretty cool. The lighting system, obviously on the TRX I've installed the little kind of power auxiliary system for the lights that normally runs the uh, wheel arch lights and the front and back lights and the light bar and so forth. But I don't particularly want to use it because well, when I used it, when I was plugging more into it, it was getting dimmer and dimmer. So I wanted these, these projector lights on the front of the shell to be really bright. So back to my flying days, I thought I'd just order a separate Beck and it's switchable from five to six volts um, via this little uh, jumper switch here. Um, soldered on an extra long JST connector. So then an old plain, orange plain um, RX. So that gives me a lot of channels to power um, various lights and bits and pieces. What I've done, I've sprayed a little like food pot black. So it's gonna sit in the back here and because you're not gonna see that through the, the rear guard windows, um, it's gonna sit here and be Velcroed in and all this is gonna sit in there. Um, and it's gonna drill a hole and, and it's gonna be hot glued so it's waterproof. Um, the battery lead is gonna come out the back of the interior and I am planning to either place the battery on this bit of Lexan here on the back of the shell or strap it around here with some Velcro. Um, don't know yet, I haven't tried that in practice, but I can't go any further with it at the moment because I'm waiting for the blue strip lights to come. So they will be hopefully arriving any day. Every time I come home from work and the postman's been, I'm waiting for a little package, but it hasn't arrived yet. Um, what I have done is got new front and rear bumper and I've put the same lights that are in the front in the back but these are red projectors um, because obviously the Landy shell has got the lights in the actual shell itself whereas these uh, I want them in the bumper because I'm obviously going to switch the shell out. I didn't have enough room to put lights in the back of here. On this side I did, that side I didn't really. It was all getting a bit tight so I decided to put them in the bumper. The This bumper is going to be swapped out as well when I run the tactical shell because the the, the red just doesn't work. I don't like it and the, the winch. I want the standard um, front bumper. So I will jump cut to a video where I've taken a shot of this so you can see what it looks like. And that's pretty much about it. Um, there will obviously be a big unveiling when it's done. Um, I haven't seen it sorted properly because the body posts need to be changed. I've got a new set of body posts. The fronts are okay, they just need to be raised up a bit, but the, the rears are too high. So I've bought a second set and I'm gonna cut them, bring them down a little bit because the body's sitting too high for my liking. So there's some fettling and fiddling, but we're not far off. And I think it will look absolutely fantastic. So please stay tuned and wait for the big um, unveiling. And I think, well, I hope it's going to look really, really cool. I mean, even with it like this, I think it looks really mean. And that's the idea really, special forces type of truck. Looks really mean, lots of lights, fancy bits and pieces and a nice interior. And you can just see Batman there in the background. So thanks for watching. Um, thanks for all your support on the channel. We're near 98 subscribers now, which I think is fantastic. So we never thought we'd get that far. So hope you like the content. Hope you like this video. And please stay tuned because it's going to get more exciting because there's a new truck coming. A very, very big, big cross RC truck that's going to be landing on this table. Um, middle part of next week and Andrew and I are going to be doing an unboxing and lots of jumping up and down in the excitement so that will be appearing soon and will 
involve a build video and lots of other bits and pieces. So lots of excitement and you know, please stay tuned and like and subscribe. Any questions about this, um, the painting or putting it together, please let me know and I'll try and answer them as best I can. Thanks for watching, bye for now.